Here's a display problem that helps you appreciate the need for gate driver datasheets. What are datasheets? In simple terms, they're documents showing the details of a component, circuit, etc., as shown here. You can make a gate driver datasheet for yourself using a cracked screen with perfectly working parts. Now, one secret to quickly identifying the root cause of a problem is taking particular note of its display characteristics. Can you see that the display is slightly dark with thick lines and ripples? But first, let's have you know that this older LG panels is one of the most enduring LCD screens. It can last for decades. It's a standard definition display panel with simple LVDS. Being a very durable screen, we start troubleshooting at the TCOM. Twelve volts input here. All signals processor outputs all RGB clock and video signals. DC DC converter. Now let's check that the TCOM outputs fully to panel. Because the display problem has some horizontal elements, we suspect a loss of some gate signals or voltages. So we mainly check VGH, VGL, VCC, GSC, GOE and GSP. Besides checking for voltages using a multimeter, an oscilloscope will show if the signals are okay. All signals are okay. Now let's check to be sure output to gate are on the source PCB. VGH, present. VGL present also. Checking the gate cough. There, first sign of an open circuit at a signal point. Do you notice the raster on the screen changing as the probe is on that point? That is characteristic of an open circuit at a signal point. We check again and again to be sure. This is where a datasheet for this cough serves a very useful purpose. Power off. Here's a secret to ensuring proper readings. Check to be sure ground isn't lost. The loss of it can affect the readings. After setting meter to test for continuity, ground is intact. Now we check other test points. Since VGH, VGL, 3.3 volts and ground are all present, that signal point is the main suspect. See, it still indicates there's a loss of it.
Now let's locate its origin. This is it, GOE. Now, we'll fly a wire to restore the signal to gate. Soldering wire to the point on PCB. Soldering other end to gate, cough. Soldering the point on cough. Always make sure you don't end up with dry solder. Now let's power on to see if that was all it needed. Good as new, but wait. There's an important tip at the end of this video. Note how wire is taped to the glass for protection. One last thing, never let tape rest on fog joints. 